I originally designed the sequence for my clients that want a hardcore workout that keeps moving, hence the name Hardcore Flow. This is an incredibly challenging full body workout that's equipment free. While toning and sculpting your muscles is a really nice bonus feature, I originally designed this program to improve core strength and core stability because a strong and stable core improves posture, athletic performance, everyday function and well-being, and helps to prevent low back pain. Very important. Body weight only exercise is an incredibly efficient way to work out. You get a lot done in a short time. This type of workout improves coordination, balance, flexibility, and strengthens not only your muscles, but your joints as well. All movement originates in the core, so you'll be using your entire body for every single exercise that we do. If you think of your core muscles as a central, sturdy link in a chain connecting your upper and lower body, you'll understand that your arms and legs function best when core muscles are strong, stable, resilient, and yes, even flexible. They have to remain mobile. Danielle and I are going to be sweating through this workout with you. And of course, as always, if something doesn't feel right, leave it out. Never sacrifice the intuition of the body for the glory of the ego. We're in this together, so let's do it. OK, you guys ready for this? Let's get started. We're going to start on our hands and knees. We want to line up correct joint alignment, so hands directly under the shoulders, knees under the hips. We're just going to start with a simple spine warm up so we have a little bit of blood flow going. So tucking the toes under, inhale, lift, and tops of the feet down, exhale, round all your air out, navel in, again, inhale, a few rounds of cat-cow, enjoy this while it's happening, and exhale, tops of the feet down, round all your air out, big lung breathing, you're gonna need this breath, inhale, gonna need this oxygen for the rest of what we've got coming and tops of the feet, exhale round, let's do one more, why not, and tuck, inhale, and exhale, okay, coming back to neutral, tuck the toes, <clears throat> so recruit all those deep core muscles, and simply hover your knees just an inch or two off the mat, really feeling what's happening right now, so Rotate those shoulders around so you have space. So it's as if the inner elbows are coming towards each other and you're stabilizing and holding and breathing as best you can and imagining that navel pulling up to your spine. Now, we're gonna take the right leg, leading with your heel, keeping the knee bent and push it up to the sky, tap it down. Again, push, squeeze, same side. Good, Danielle, down. Again, up, just tap it down, don't rest it. And up and down one more, up, change sides right away, stay stable, up, push with the heel, like you're lifting a big heavy box up with your heel, as if you could, and down, and up, one more, and up, and down. Now, we're gonna do it alternating legs, stay stable in your pelvis and scapula, ready, here we go, right side up, put it down, left side, and down, squeeze that glute, tummy in and left and down and right and down and left one more each side and squeeze and squeeze hold on your toes and hands lower the knees take a little seat back get off those shoulders and then come right back to your hands and knees and we're going to take a variation of bird dog where we're holding the whole time so really pull your scapula down pull your belly in Take your right leg back and your left arm forward. You can keep the toes of the left foot tucked to help you stabilize. You're pulling that scapula down. You're pressing that heel back. The hip bone is facing the floor, so you're in line. You're looking at the floor because your neck's part of your spine. And every time you exhale, you're feeling your belly pull in, trying not to let that right hip drop really recruiting all of those core muscles, all 360 degrees. We're still holding. The whole body is working right here, as promised. And breathe steady. Couple more, the exhales navel in. One more inhale, 
and then slowly lower, try not to let anything go, other side right away. And right arm out, left leg back. Push into the heel, lengthen through the fingertips, navel to spine, left hip bone facing the floor. So you're in line, shoulder blades pulled down, and just doing your breath, doing your best to stay with your breath. How about that for a tongue twister? Reach, 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 reach. Pulling that belly in and up. Couple more deep breaths. One more inhale. And slowly exhale, lower. And give yourself another little shift in your spine. And then we're gonna come on to our knees facing center. So you're standing up on your knees is what I like to say. And we're gonna go over to the side. So extend the left arm out, right hand behind your head, and start to tip over onto the hand and lift your opposite leg up. And really lift through this side waist up. So reach through that foot, and you wanna stay stable in everything that's touching the ground. We're gonna do two kicks forward on the exhale. Two back on the inhale. And forward and back. Exhale, exhale. Inhale, inhale, and stay lifted forward and back. Come back to center, reach the top arm. Now tap your foot, lift it up, down and up. The waistline is squeezing, and down and up, down and up, down two more, and down and up and down. Hold, now lift up and come to the other side. Oh, good thing we only have two sides. Here we go, leg out, two kicks forward. Exhale, exhale, inhale, inhale, and forward, forward, back, back, and and forward, forward, back, back, last one, forward, back. Reach the arm long, tap and lift, tap and lift, squeeze the waist, navel in, down and up, down and up, and lift, and up. One more, hold, lift your body up to your knees, and we're gonna come onto our hands and knees again, and set up for plank. Okay, so tuck the toes under, set up that plank. You're gonna keep everything stable, scapula, pelvis, and walk the feet in under you, right, left, bending the knees, good. So you're gonna walk them in, Danielle, right, left, and back, and back. Good, that's it, and back, and back, and right, and left, staying stable, and square, and right, and left. Now we start with the left, and left, in, left, back. So, I promise this would be a full body workout, and you can probably tell that it is with the way you're feeling right now. We're feeling it too and back pause. Now, this is called leg pull down. It's from the Pilates mat series. Lift the right leg up. On the exhale, you're gonna rock forward. <sighs> inhale back, put it down. Other side, inhale leg up. Exhale forward, inhale back, put it down. Inhale, exhale. Try not to sink in your shoulders when you rock forward. Exhale, back, down one more each side. And forward, back, down. Last one. <sighs> Good, now get ready for some side plank. So I'll go right hand, you'll go left hand, and we'll lift up into a side plank. Lift those hips, lift those hips up. If you would like, you can bring your top arm over your ear, but guess what, we're gonna do leg lifts. Here we go, up and down. Top leg is lifting, up. You're staying flat to the wall. You're trying not to open your hips up behind you, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, I'm sweating, are you? One more, hold it, hold it, hold it. And slowly come back, guess what? We have that other side. Rotate, find your side plank first, and lift, and down, and up, and down, and lift. Yes, if you fall out, fall back in, exactly what Danielle did, and down, and up. Two more, up, here's our hold, up, 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 come to plank, control it, control it. Walk to down dog, lift your hips. Oh, this feels good. However, don't get too used to it. 
we're going to take a very active down dog, which is an excellent low back decompressor. So we're going to lift up high onto the balls of the feet. Stay that high in your heels. Bend your knees a lot. Yes, but try to keep your tailbone up. Good. Tailbone as if it's lifting up to the sky. Wrap the shoulders around. Inhale and exhale into the side ribs and pull your navel in. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Lift, lift, lift. Slowly straighten the legs. Sink the heels and lower the knees. Take a little mini child's pose, mini break. Very short. And then we're going to come onto our backs. Okay, so I'm going to swivel around. You're going to lay that way. Good. We're going to come onto our backs and just start by hugging your knees to your chest just to give yourself a second to set up in a new position. More now supine. So we're going to do a little Pilates exercise here. It's the Pilates hundreds, but we're going to add some exclamation points to it because this is hardcore flow after all. So legs to the sky in Pilates position. Turned out, heels together, toes out. Now lift your head and chest and arms. Now lower your legs as much as you feel like you can while protecting your lower back. And we're going to pump and breathe on the inhale. Inhale, two, three, four, five, exhale. <sighs> breathe into the nose and out through the mouth. <sighs> breathe in, two, four, five, and out. Suck your stomach in. In, two, three, four, five, and out. Reach nice and long, good. Inhale. Exhale, three, four, that's 50. In, two, five, and reach through the toes and the fingers. In, two, four, five, and out. In, two, five, and out. Inhale, exhale, you've got one more set. Inhale, exhale, now hold. On the exhale, only thing that's going to move is the belly button. Exhale, draw it in, in. Now hold, lift the arms up, and like you're pushing an accordion, exhale, squeeze them down. Inhale, exhale, squeeze. Inhale, don't drop your head back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale. Squeeze your tummy in and up. Press up, press, lift up and hold, 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 hold. Hands behind the head. We're just adding a little something. Danielle doesn't know it's coming. Right leg up and lower. Keep the right leg moving, right leg. Don't move the left leg. It stays in one place. Left leg stays in one place. One more. Up. Oh, we've got the other side. Here we go. Up and down, and up and down, and up. Let's do one more for your tummy in. And down, hug your knees. Ah, oh, that feels good. Little knee hug. Give it a little movement. Move intuitively, circles, side to side, squeezes up and down. Just give yourself a second. Now we're going to take the hands behind the head, elbows wide, head lifted. So we're going to bring right knee and left leg out. We're staying square, and we're changing. Square and change. Breathing, inhale and exhale. So one breath is an inhale, one breath is an exhale. And squeeze the tush of the leg that's straightening. So your glute is active there. And in, and in, and in. Now we're going to twist and twist and twist. Now I want you to think armpit to knee as opposed to elbow. You don't want to be yanking your neck and reaching your elbow to your knee. Twist, move the chest, lift the shoulders and twist and twist a little faster. Twist and twist and twist. Keep going and lift and eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay, let's do a little twist. We deserve it, right, Danielle? Okay. One knee in. So let's bring the left knee in first. Straighten your right leg. Take your left arm out to the side, palm facing down, and bring your knee over. Now don't worry about it touching the floor or your shoulder staying down. You can see that my shoulder doesn't stay down if my knee is over. Don't worry about that. Just allow yourself to stretch and turn your spine. Breathe into it. And then slowly come back to center. Readjust if you need to. 
pull your right knee in, straighten your left leg, take your right arm out, palm facing down, and twist, twist, twist. Just enjoy the twist, breathe. Send your breath into where you feel it. You still wanna stay connected, mind, body. Try not to float off into space to think about what you're doing after this. Stay here, stay present. And then slowly come back to center. Okay, we're gonna take a few rocks on our spine, just a few rocks. Right. And then we're gonna come into a down dog position. So come into down dog. <clears throat> Lift the hips high, 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 high. And we're gonna step the right leg forward into a lunge position. They call this a runner's lunge, or in yoga, it's setting up for crescent pose. Now, put a soft bend in your back knee, and then lift your body up. Feel free to wiggle your right foot over to the right so you're not on a tightrope. Now, on an inhale, you're gonna bend both knees and bend the elbows. Inhale down, and then exhale, squeeze up. And inhale down and really make it active in the arms, like you're pushing through something. And down, and up, and down, and up. One more, down, and up, hold. Now take an inhale, and exhale, you're gonna lean forward, straighten your back leg, and exhale, bend the back knee, lift up. Exhale, reach, bend, lift. And reach, bend, lift, and reach, bend, lift. Now, test your balance. Lift your back leg off the floor when you come forward. Oh, that's hard. And down, and forward, tip. Keep your standing legs, so, knees soft, so it doesn't go to a locked position. Forward, and back, and forward. <laughs> Let's hold crescent. Hold crescent, lift up. Now come forward slowly, reach your hands to the floor, lift your left leg high to a standing split. Lift, 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 lift. Lower the foot down, stand in a forward fold. Put a soft bend in your knees, flat back, extend your arms up and out to come up. Bring your hands to a prayer position at your heart. Just a little mini yoga vinyasa to get to the other side. So, inhale your arms up, and then fold forward. Exhale, swan dive over your legs, all the way. On the inhale, extend and lift up, and then step back to plank. Shift forward, lower halfway chaturanga, exhale. Inhale to upward facing dog, lift the thighs, open the chest, and then lift the hips up and back, downward facing dog. Now we're gonna do the other side. Step the left foot forward, so you're setting up your lunge. If you need to wiggle your left foot to the left a little bit so you're not on a tightrope, that's fine. And then go ahead and come all the way up into your crescent pose. And we're gonna bend both knees and bend the arms. Exhale, inhale up. Make this active as much as you can. You're using only your own body. So make it count and exhale and lift and down and up. Let's do one more down. When you come up, keep the back leg soft. Take an inhale and exhale. Reach it forward. Straighten your back leg. Exhale. Bend both knees. Sink lower. And forward. And lift. And forward. Reach. And lift. And forward. Reach. And lift. Now with the balance, try picking your back foot up. Reach. Oh, there's that little hang time for a moment where you really catch your balance and back, and forward, and back, and forward, and back. Now one more, reach forward all the way to your standing split. Lift that back leg up, 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 up. Put the foot down in your forward fold. Take a moment, put a soft bend in the knees, and with a flat back, reach your arms out and up to come up all the way to the sky. Bring your hands to prayer position at your heart. Exhale. And we'll take our vinyasa. Open. Inhale the arms up. And then swan dive on the exhale. Over the legs. 
Inhale, lengthen, look up. Step back to plank and exhale to lower into your chaturanga. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, back. And we're going to take a brief moment, moment or two in a prone position. So come forward to a plank. And then slowly, with as much control as you can, try to take 10 counts to lower all the way to your tummy. Here we go. 10, slowly. 9, 8, use your belly. 7, 6, only halfway. 5, 4, 3, 2, and 1. And we're down. Keep your hands right where they are next to you. <clears throat> Adjust your costume if you need to. And you're going to go ahead and engage the whole back side of the body. Lift your chest up and hover your hands just off the mat. So you're using only the back side of the body. Tops of the feet pressing down. So the legs stay down. Now you're going to reach your arms forward. And then like you're pushing through something thick, push your straight arms back, back. Lift, squeeze your shoulder blades. Stay as high as you can and bring your arms back to the side and then forward and then bend the elbows. Strong squeeze and lower. Guess what? We only do it one more time. Here we go. Lift the chest, no hands. Extend those arms forward. And then push and squeeze them back. Lift, 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 pull, pull the belly in, squeeze the shoulder blades. Stay up and reach them side and forward. Look at Danielle's beautiful lift and bend the elbows, squeeze and lower. Let's sit back in a child's pose. That was our brief moment or two in a prone position. Reach back, 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 back. We're going to come back to a down dog. So come to your hands and knees, tuck your toes, lift the hips. Okay, so we're going to extend the right leg up and squeeze. And on the exhale, come forward to plank, bring your knee to your nose. Exhale, all your out, crunch it in. And then lift it up, inhale. Then bring it to the right tricep. Squeeze it over to the side and lift it up. And again, forward, pull and reach, scoop out and bring it back. Lift, squeeze over to the right tricep. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Lift it up one more time and slowly control the foot all the way down. Inhale, left side up. On the exhale, knee to nose. Empty all your air out. Squeeze. Inhale it up. Left knee, left tricep. Squeeze and crunch. Inhale it up. Right knee center. Exhale. Inhale it up. Exhale it over to the side. Inhale it up. Slowly with control, put it down. Now, come to plank. We're going to take these on a pace a little faster, but from plank. Lift your right leg up, and we're going to keep the leg up and crunch it forward and back and side and back and forward and back. Exhale, inhale, exhale, and side and forward and side. One more and forward. Side change, sides, left leg up, and forward, and crunch to the side, and forward, and side, and forward, and squeeze, and forward, and squeeze. Last one, forward, and squeeze, put the foot down, hold. Oh, lower onto your forearm, so forearm plank. Hands either forward, or you can clasp fists. First one, we're just holding. Okay, so we're pulling our belly in, and we're going to rotate. I'm going to rotate onto my right forearm. Danielle's rotating onto her left. We're stacking the hips, hand behind the head, hold. And now we're going to inhale, lower the hips down. Exhale, twist, and lift them up. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. If your balance is wobbly, inhale. Exhale, put your foot down in the front. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist, lift. Inhale, lower. Exhale, twist. Two more. And down. Exhale. And down. Exhale. Now, with control, come to forearm plank. Slowly rotate to the other side. Stack the hips. Hand behind the head. Here we go. Inhale. Exhale, twist and lift. Inhale. Now get all the air out of you. Inhale. Exhale and lower stay in control and timing the breath exhale inhale lower 
Exhale, lift, twist it all out, and down, and up. One more, down, and up. Now come back to forearm plank. Hold for 10, nine, eight, belly in, six, five, shoulders forward, four, three, two, and one. Drop your knees, sit back in child's pose. A well-deserved child's pose. Forehead resting on the mat. Your arms can be forward stretched out or back behind you, palms facing up. And breathe. We're almost there. Now, we're gonna come onto our backs. We're gonna swap, we're gonna have your head over there, great. And we're gonna lay down into a shoulder bridge position. So lining up that joint alignment. Now we're just gonna do a little gentle back, bolt, back bending in shoulder bridge. I guess back building also. So lift the hips up. Now stay up and lift your right leg up to the sky, point the toe. And now on an inhale, flex the foot lower knee to knee and kick it up. Inhale lower, exhale, and down and up. And hips staying stable and square. Don't drop them. And up and down and up and down and up. One more. Lift it up. Bend the knee. Put the foot down. Change sides. Lift up. Point to the toe. Here we go. Inhale down. Exhale up. Don't let that hip drop and up, stay stable, square, and up, inhale, exhale, and down, and up, and down, and up, and down, and up, one more, down, up, bend the knee, foot down, lift the hips, lift, and roll down, one vertebrae at a time. Now, don't hug the knees in just yet. We're gonna lift one leg in a bent knee, and then the other, and then take a few big rocks on our spine, Rock and roll on your spine, as they say. And we're going to come up to seated and balance in Navasana, boat pose. So your knees can be bent or straight. It's totally up to you. Listen to your body. And we're going to inhale lower to Ardha Navasana. And exhale. Dig deep. Everything you got in you. Inhale. Exhale. Lift. Inhale lower. Are we shaking and quaking yet? I am. Inhale, that's what it's all about. Exhale, and down, and up, and down, and up. Let's do two more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Now come down and hold. Lift your right leg up, lift your left leg up, reach your arms up. Now lift everything you can up, up, up off the mat. Lift, lift, lift. If you can touch your toes, don't. Lift up, lift up, lift, lift, lift. Dig deep. And take a breath, relax. Hug your knees to your chest. Let's take a well-deserved spinal twist. It's gonna be a little different this time. It's a deeper twist. So we're gonna cross left knee on top of right knee. So we're crossed at the knees. Now, it's a good idea to shimmy your hips a little bit to the left. Now take your palms out to the sides, facing down, and let your knees come over to the right and keep your gaze towards the left side. Your neck is part of your spine, so you want to maintain the twist in the entire spine. And breathe. Stay focused on your breath and your body. Feel where you are right now. Feel your breath slowing down. And then engage your abdomen like crazy to protect that spine and lift your legs back up, uncross your legs, recenter your hips, cross right knee over left knee, bring the hips slightly right, lift the knees up, and let them fall to the left, gaze to the right. So open up and breathe. Allow your spine to turn, 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 your chest to open, open, open. Be in your breath, be in your body. Engage your abdomen, navel to spine, lift the legs back to center, and then take your hands on the backs of your thighs. Take a few rock and rolls on your spine. And we're going to scooch back on our mats. You can scooch back. We're going to take a couple seated stretches. So we're going to start left sole of the foot into the right inner thigh. Now we want to face the straight leg. 
So inhale, lift the arms. Exhale, reach over that leg. And bring yourself forward. Take slow, deep breaths. And as always, inhale into where you feel the stretch. I like to take the stretch towards the outside of my leg. That way it becomes a little more of a twist when I reach the outside of my right leg. And I get it a little more here in my quadratus lumborum. The QL muscle is what allows us to twist and side bend. It's also the source of a lot of tightness for some people who don't utilize that muscle properly or stretch it properly. And then slowly bring yourself up, slowly. And then we're gonna change sides. Bring the right sole of the foot into the left inner thigh. Reach your arms up, inhale. And exhale, reach over that leg. And just enjoy the stretch as best you can. Take deep breaths. I personally find it delicious. This isn't what everybody describes the stretch as, but that's okay, be where you are. I like to go to the outside of my leg to get that big QL muscle, the muscle that lets us twist and side bend. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Maybe you feel it more in your hamstring, that's okay. Be in your own body, in your own breath. And come on up, up, up. Now take both legs forward, straight in front of you. And you can have your legs together or slightly separated, whatever's more comfortable for your body. You can even have a soft knee if that feels better for you. Inhale, reach the arms up and lengthen out, 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 out. And when you need to round, you round and you reach for whatever you can get, whether it's the sides of your legs, the floor here, or the outsides of your feet. And you fold forward. Allow yourself to stretch and breathe. Wherever you are, you're in your breath and your body and you're doing something great for yourself. Breathe a couple more deep breaths. And then slowly use your hands to help you up. And you should all be very proud of yourselves. You worked very hard. So did we. And I encourage you, if you're interested in more about the core, in more about the science of the core, the function of the core, please check out my blog called Demystifying the Core on my website. It'll tell you all you need to know. And go drink a big glass of water, notice how your body feels, check in, and then go have a great day. Thank you so much.